My name is Sonny Samuel. I am the Caribbean Regional Missionary with United Methodist Women. I just want to express thanks and appreciation to the United Methodist Women who have pledged financially to the work that I am doing. I'm Finda Kwiwa, a regional missionary, and I work with young people in South Sahara, Africa. The United Methodist Women are doing a great work. Because of the check, the sign, the support they give through our work, it's been so nice to see the transformation it's given to young people in the area where I work. The pledge is very important to fight against violence against women, to fight against trafficking of women, to fight against those immigration laws that, that tend to, to disadvantage women. It is very important because as women, we need to be at par with men. We also need to ensure that as we raise our children, they know the girl child. They know that they are equal. Because it's giving them the opportunity to say, all is not lost. It's challenging them, empowering them to be um, what they're really hoping to be, despite the challenges they go through. In Haiti, for example, after the earthquake, a lot of the women lost their livelihood, so they did not have money to send the children to school. They have to pay their school fee, they have to buy books, they have to buy a uniform. And so United Methodist Women did a pledge of over 15,000 US dollars, which was very good. That, that allowed children to go back to school. The United Methodist Women's Pledge is not only money. Their faith, their commitment to Jesus, their involvement in the church reverberate into the hearts of women in the rural areas in many countries. There is a problem, a deep problem in Haiti. The illiteracy rate is between 70 to 75 percent. So it is saying that for every 100 person, 75 or 70 persons cannot read. Prayers that comes from the power of believing that with the pledge they have, then they can change lives. And there have been women whose lives were changed. I'm talking about young people who, was, who were sent to school. You know, Harris Memorial College is being uh, supported by the UMW in many ways since I was a student. And this has been part of the missionary zeal that was given to us in the Philippines and now a blessing to many. So really, those funds, when they are given, they will go a long way to ensure that women, children, and young people in those areas improve their livelihood. Without mission giving, there will be no regional missionary initiative. Without mission giving, there will be no health care for mothers, for women. Without missionary giving, there will be no transport fares for us to travel to the various places where we serve. Without missionary giving, there will be no daily bread, even for the missionaries. Therefore, it is absolutely necessary. We do not take for granted what they are doing. Many of them make huge sacrifices. They pray for us, but their dollars are absolutely necessary and they are invaluable in the work we do. Together, my sisters, we can make it happen. <laughs>